What's going on guys, I'm Von Lefebvre and welcome to this week's video. So what we're doing today is I had found this camera at an antique store. It's a 1930 Iconta, it's from Germany, and it actually has a Carl Zeiss lens on it. So when I got this camera, there was actually a roll of 120 film in there. Uh, the negatives were shot in the mid 60s, I'm assuming, because it was on Kodak Verichrome. Uh, they stopped making that film in 2002, but it was real popular in the late 50s, early 60s. Um, so this camera was caked in duds. I clean it up and it actually works 100%. And I did develop that film and it made me realize that I had these two rolls here I found in my grandfather's old camera. This one right here that he shot in the late 70s. And I had this roll right here that my dad had shot in the early 80s. And I'm like, you know, these are Kodak Color 2. They haven't made that since the 80s. I'm like, I want to develop these. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to develop these two rolls and see what my grandfather and my father had shot 30, 40 years ago. Along with working on Jaden's car, we did make a custom $36 do-it-yourself sunroof delete kit. All right, moment of truth. Just got done doing the stabilizer, so I guess we'll see. I'm, I'm more nervous for these than I'd like to admit. Um, I did the developing like normal, so hopefully they're blue. They're blue. I don't, I don't know what that means. I've never seen blue color negatives. I know when emulsion gets old, it turns blue. I don't see anything. I don't see anything at all. So this was, this is my dad's roll. So if you want to look, I don't, I don't see nothing. Well, that sucks. So that's not really the one I was worried. I wanted to necessarily see 100%. I wanted, I was more interested in my grandpa's roll. So that's this one. This was the, this is the coat of color from the 70s. So I guess we'll see. It's really blue as well on the emulsion. And there's nothing. I, I, I don't know what to say. That really sucks. I was really excited for this. So, oh well, I guess. I'm beginning to think maybe that <clears throat> This wasn't a C41 process. Maybe it was like an E6, but... Oh, that kind of sucks. I'm really disappointed. All right, well, I guess that's it for this. So uh, you guys get to see us doing Jaden's Beamer now. Very good. I don't... Oh, it's green this way. Hmm. I'm going to grab the canisters really quick and see if maybe they weren't actually C41. No, process C41 right there. I guess that's a fail. Never had this happen before. Ooh. Did I go through at all? I think so. All right, so let me explain what's happening right now. So a while ago, Jaden's sunroof flew off, messed everything up, so we are doing a DIY budget sunroof delete kit. The whole idea behind this is we went and got a sheet of aluminum and we're gonna rip it down. Oh, that's just, that kills me to look at, dude. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rip it that piece of aluminum down, then we're gonna get a piece of vinyl. We're gonna lay it on top just so it looks nicer. So right now we have what, a total of $30 in this? Yes. We got a total of $30 in this sunroof delete kit. We're hoping it works well enough. Block. I think it's gonna be really cool. We actually ended up 3 Ming the top here with some uh, double-sided tape So that's pretty pretty cheddar. We also did some silicone all around the edges to you know make it more watertight So I think I think it's actually gonna work pretty well. We're gonna go take it for a ride. And we're gonna check her out All right, so we just got back from going for the test drive 
and it works. Jaden, you have any, have anything to say about it? It's ghetto. It's, it's pretty ghetto. But you know what? It works really well. So what we ended up doing was we 3 m uh, this front here with no rivets, just so the wind couldn't catch. Uh, thanks to my dad for pointing that out. And we just riveted all the way along the sides and the back. We have, besides the corners, we have three other ones. And this thing is actually pretty mid. We, uh, we went probably 45, 50 and no wind noise, doesn't rattle, doesn't do nothing. You know what? Heat stays in because it's starting to get cold here. So it actually works really well. Uh, it seals, so we're not too worried about water getting in. So, happy Jaden, happy with the results. Oh yeah, winter's gonna be great. Hey, right. all right, so I'm gonna show you the inside real quick, see what it looks like. So what it is, we actually had put the, uh, <laughs> put the factory uh, liner back in, the cover, and when you open her, so I'm trying to do this on camera, you open her, you just got it in. But this thing is solid. It ain't moving. Jen, you want to show what it you want to show what it does when the subs hit real hard? We'll show you. We'll show you subs real quick. It vibrates wild, but if you have the cover on, perfectly fine. Doesn't do very much. Okay, so we're about to show you the base. I'm outside of the car. So Jaden, hit it. So that's a problem. Um, to make it even more, you know, ghetto ricery, the fix that, we're gonna shove a two by four up in there in the empty space to maybe hopefully dampen the void a little bit, but you know what, it works. Whoa. 